Right, we're in the engine control room and this is what it looks like. On the right is the switchboard. So basically if you want to operate some of the machineries remotely, then you can do it from here. This, for example, is the HFO transfer pump. It is not running right now. For something that's running, this green light would be on. So basically, this is the switchboard and the engine control room means that you have the controls for operation and means for monitoring the various parameters from different machineries, including the main engine. There are these computers called as CAMS, stands for Control and Monitoring System. These serve the purpose of monitoring the various running parameters. For example, if I need to check the main engine jacket cooling fresh water outlet temperature from this 9 cylinder engine, then you see I can just get that information from the screen here. This information is actually coming from actual temperature sensors and transmitters which are installed locally on spot. Access to all these running parameters doesn't relieve the engine staff of the duty to actually physically take rounds in the engine room and check for leaks, any abnormal sounds, or any unusual vibrations from the various machineries. Here is a small beverage corner for if and when you want to fix yourself a tea or a coffee. There are also some files and manuals along with a portable fire extinguisher for firefighting. If you're in port, the engine is not running right now and it's nice and quiet. Mm, here is the engine room daily logbook. Uh, the daily logbook means that it has to be filled out daily. So I've often been asked if the engine start stop, speed control etc is via a big handle or a big wheel or what is it exactly? Well this is called the telegraph. It's on stop position right now and here you can see that the engine control is with the ECR. So it means that the engine control here is in this location right now that is the engine control room. And if I move this handle, provided no safety interlocks are in place, then I will start the engine. However, since we are stopped and in port, there are main engine start interlocks active. Let me show you. These are all the safety interlocks that are active right now. So even if I do move the telegraph handle to ahead or astern, nothing will happen because of these active interlocks. However, when the engine runs, it runs in ahead or astern. It does that based on the command received from the telegraph. The engine control room layout varies from ship to ship. If it's an old ship, there won't be much automation and many things have to be done manually. Here, for example, even the diesel generators can be started remotely from the engine control room. Let me show you. So we have four diesel generators, one, two, three, and four. Number one is running right now. 2145 kilowatt is the current load. The generator capacity is 4.2 megawatts. So it's running at around 50% load right now. It's a high voltage ship. 6.6 .6 kilovolts is available here. You can also see the running amps and the light frequency. There are more details available. For example, if I click number one, You can then see the exhaust gas temperatures, lube oil temperatures, turbocharger in-out temperature and much more information is available. These are highly automated ships and as I said, I can even start a generator from the engine control room. All I have to do is click on DG control, click on start and then click on command. It's, it's like a confirmation that I really want to start a generator and that's it. The generator will start run up to the rated RPM, synchronize, connect to the bus bar, share load, everything. Everything will happen automatically. Of course, if the automation fails, everything has to be done manually. And on this ship, those controls are in the high voltage room. A small tour of that space is already done in a video. The link is on screen if you want to check that out. Like and share this video if you found this useful and subscribe to be notified about more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.